my vlog channel from our family to yours. Happy New Year's Day. It is officially January 1st, 2019. Yesterday was the last day of the year, December 31st, 2018. It was also New Year's Eve. So I wanted to do how do you traditionally, how do Russians traditionally get ready for New Year's Eve? And then today's vlog, how do Russians actually celebrate New Year's Day? Which is what this vlog is going to include some clips of me explaining how do we get ready for New Year's Eve, what are some of our customs and traditions, and how do we actually celebrate New Year's Day. I had a really awful day, so my tummy was not feeling good. He didn't take his second nap, so we ended up just hanging out at the Chinese restaurant with both my family and his. Just for an hour, we left to, I left to go put him down for bed, and then my husband stayed, and that's pretty much how our evening went. And then I went right to bed to so tired, woke up to have champagne with my husband, couldn't fall back asleep. Then I did. Started my day today at 7.30. Caught him up at about 7.41. We just had milk. And if you guys could see my little man's plan. Because I'm not having a chance to vlog yesterday since I didn't feel well and he didn't take a great nap. So traditionally every year in the morning I would wake up with my family and before having a traditional Russian uh, breakfast for New Year's, we would always watch the Rose Parade. When I moved out on my own, I did the same thing. And when I married my husband, we carried that tradition. And now we're passing on this tradition to my little man here who is playing on the mat. I'm about to go get ready in the kitchen and make me some coffee and some breakfast for my little man. So this is the new item that I want to show you guys. So this is a mat by Baby Care. They're normally about 100. I got a coupon and some amount I had for Bye Bye Baby. I scored this for about 50 something. On Amazon, I think we are a lot higher. I actually saw this on Amazon. I wanted to get it, so it's waterproof if you spill anything on it. If you have a dog on it that likes to climb and hang out with a little man or a little. If you have a boy or a girl, and if you have a dog and they're on it, this is perfect. He has all these new, like, 12 month toys now that he's getting close to one year of age. And so, this is what I set up for him to play. Say hi to the everybody. Hey, oh, are you happy? Are you saying hi to the camera? Say hi. Who is there? Say hi to the world. Say hi. I do he's a little camera shy, but, anyways. So, I bought from Home Goods. Two baskets. So I wasn't sure how I was going to store toys, but someone said to go the cheap route because when they're older, I'm going to probably end up putting a little toy chest in there. But I had stopped vlogging to open up the curtains to get more lighting. Don't have those specialized lighting that some of you YouTube vloggers own where you can set up in your room and then whether your curtains are closed or open, you can get like the best lighting. I don't have that. I'm not that I don't want to get them they're expensive and I can't really right now with our teacher's salary buy it especially because I'm still buying formula and diapers for him and that adds up every month but in the meantime I want to show you some things that our friends uh, brought us and got us so since they came to visit us during Christmas week that's when we celebrated at late Hanukkah with them we had them over obviously we didn't like candles because Hanukkah passed we sat down, we ate uh, dinner, we hung out, the kids played together as best as they could. You know, an 11 month old playing with a 2 year old is, well, it can be quite interesting. Yes, he's talking. So this, right here in the small basket, is the dump truck that my little man, Sammy, decided to shove it in. It's by Green Toy Company or something like that. Um, I'll link it down below. If you guys are interested, and this right there in the back is the official walker. Let me walk over to it and show you guys officially. So this one, they already had it. I don't know if they bought it new or used. We changed the battery. This little part right here can be taken off, and then they hold on to this and they walk. So essentially, they go like this, and then this particular toy. Uh, you can take it off. That has been our morning so far. I'm going to continue to grab some coffee with me. Oh, and I'm going to use my magic um, handy thing to jump from here to there. Ready? 
and I am magically here in the kitchen. So I jumped from the living room to here using my little magic hand tool that I learned from another YouTube vlogger that I subscribe to and I watch on a daily. She posts videos three days a week, like with Jackie. She taught me how to do the tricks and now I'm implementing it here up on my channel. But my husband made these cute little Olaf's. They basically take a mold like this. You punch a bunch of candy canes that are natural. We bought ours from Whole Foods if they have them around where you live. Go and grab some. And then uh, we pour the white chocolate. Then on top we uh, put these. Oh, they are so, so good. So I just went into my kitchen to be able to grab some. Now, I learned the other day that actually white chocolate is not real chocolate. So it's not like it's chocolate mixed with something to make it white. It's made out of cocoa butter and some other stuff. Mmm. The crunch of the actual candy cane is so good. I can taste the white chocolate. This is what the piece looks like. Deliciously smelling great. It's very peppermint, but not too peppermint. I like the all natural candy cane because they're so much lighter than traditional artificial candy canes that you see anywhere else. This is a highlight. So now I'm going to officially grab some coffee. Cheers as we say goodbye to the old year and then at midnight we drink champagne and welcome in the new year. Wait, that's not exactly how Russians celebrate New Year's Eve and day. We don't just say goodbye and cheers to the new year. There is a lot more that we do to get ready to welcome this holiday. So for those of you that don't know, back in the day in Russia, I don't know if this was in the former USSR, I'm not sure the exact history, but the way my family and my grandparents explained it is back in the day, if you were Jewish or Christian, you were not allowed to celebrate your own religious holiday, which was Hanukkah and Christmas. So therefore, the government adopted the national holiday called New Year's Eve and Day, where people put up Yoga, which is a Russian tree. I'll insert in here to the screen like a little picture of a traditional like Russian um, New Year's tree. So this is how the traditional Russian New Year started. It's similar to Christmas because we have our own Santa Claus, but he's not a religious figure, you know. He's just a character like in Christmas, you know, because you have um, St. Nicholas, you have Santa Claus, or we, in our Russian culture, we have Jed Moroz and Tigorichka. So it's Grandfather Santa and the Granddaughter. Ooh. This matcha green tea latte is perfecto. I think it's a lot better than Starbucks, personal opinion. I get mine usually at the RR Coffee House. But this one is $7.99. I get it at Sprouts. It is by Rushi. I'll link below which um, company I buy this from at Sprouts. So if you have a Sprouts in your area, you can actually get this. Basic traditional uh, New Year's decoration is a yoga, which is a tree. We have different little characters on it. There's blue, red, green. A lot of times they use red because it represents the Kremlin, the red square in Moscow, Russia. And we also have silver, gold. We have Happy New Year stuff. And then Russians, the week leading up to New Year's Eve, we usually clean our house, declutter, get rid of any bad luck, old stuff, all that kind of stuff. And then on the day of New Year's Eve, we wear something new. I bought a new dress this year for Thanksgiving and New Year's, so that's what I wore. Then we get ready. Most of the time, they have it at home. So I grew up with my family and I having a huge, huge party back in the day. But then, as my family members started to die out, my relatives, 
we started going to Chinese restaurants. My grandparents liked Chinese food. This is what they understood growing up here in America. So we would go eat there. Then we would go home. We would have sweets, delicacies like cow's tongue, caviar, deviled eggs. For us Russians, deviled eggs not what you think of the cream. It's just an egg with caviar. Don't believe it black or red caviar. Then we toast and we say, Let's go buy a hand over going up. That means happy upcoming new year. We say goodbye to the old year. The Swedania, Pastini Din, the Wukdishnava, Vesnatstava, Gut, and we Praglashim, Novikot. So we welcome the new year after it's midnight, so not before. So a lot of people here in America, we say, you know, Happy New Year, so we wish to somebody, for us, we can't say that yet until it's midnight. So what I always say to friends and family who I'm wishing it to, Happy Upcoming New Year, especially in the cards when you write someone like, Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, and then I'll say, and Happy Upcoming New Year, I wouldn't just say Happy New Year's. Some Russians, like my family and I, follow in certain other cultural customs. So sometimes we'll take something from the Chinese, Korean, or Japanese uh, style, like how they celebrate Chinese New Year. So my grandmother would always look up the colors of the year and anything else. My mom, usually for a New Year's Eve and day gift, will get my family and I and the in-laws and everyone else these little figurines, uh, Chinese figurines for the animal of the year and then we put it in our tiny cabinet for good luck for the whole year. This year I felt like it was the best 2018 year. My husband and I welcomed our little man. 18 is high and in Judaism it literally, the alliteration translation is life. Year of life. So we celebrated the year of life and welcoming our little man. And I think I might pick up my camera now and just walk over and, oh, what's up? Okay, I'm gonna have to stop my vlog camera and tend to my mommy duties. He was not happy, so I put him in a little high chair. Say hi, everybody, say hi, I'm right here, I'm in the vlog. He is so happy. So I ended up tripping on one of his toys when he's trying to grab leaning forward because he can't scoot himself forward yet. He can only scoot himself backwards and turn around on his back. Of course. Yeah. So anyways. So that's how traditionally we would get ready for New Year's Eve. So a lot of people, what they traditionally do is they have a rushing spread on the table. Then you have sweets closer to midnight. You ring in with your bean. The next day the kids would open up their Russian uh, New Year's gifts. So it's nothing related to Russia, by say. The gifts can be anything like toys, maybe money, gift card to shop or whatever your favorite. My husband and I do exchange it uh, together just to keep the tradition alive. But traditionally, you're not supposed to, it's just the kids. But I know I have some cousins and relatives that are not, they don't live where we live, they're up north in California. Some of them are in Russia and in London. And they traditionally celebrate where they give gifts to each other. Then the kids open up gifts, so that's pretty much how we celebrate it. I'm hoping this vlog is not too long, but if it is, pardon me. So I thought I kind of. Maybe I go like this. And, um, sorry about that. Can you guys see? Okay. You guys see my little man in a minute. So I'm gonna step on up for a sec and grab him. Dad, 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 dad. So in the morning, my little man never ever drinks eight ounces. It's usually about five ounces. So I pour it in his big bottle like this. So I'm have to, and then when I'm dressed, I usually have to. I grab a big spoon and I start mixing it like this until I get the desired consistency of the milk and the oatmeal. So for little ones who cannot chew or swallow food that well, you might want to do it a little bit more liquidy. Uh, but this one, I mix it like this. And I think I got it to the consistency I wanted it. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. 
By the way, this is the Hobie Gerber. We start out with the single grain for supportive sitters. These are for kids who can actually sit on their own, uh, supporting themselves. So you don't have to have a kid, a little one that goes into a sitting position. This is where if you're putting them down in the sitting position, if they can hold themselves upright, then you can definitely try and use this one. There are other companies out there. There's Earthbest. There is uh, a few other ones. Uh, my little, my brother, who's 19, grew up on the Gerber stuff. My little man loves it too. I'm gonna give this a final mix. Oh yay! And this is my friend. Is my little man's ready to go breakfast. We just finished our family breakfast this morning. Fed my little man and myself. My husband is just now out of the shower and getting ready for the day. He's eating his breakfast. A lot of times we try to eat breakfast together, but sometimes it doesn't work out because he gets hungry and then my husband does not get hungry right away. But I thought I'd show you guys our decorations that I did this year for New Year's. So normally I have New Year's actual decoration where I would say Happy New Year, how the clocky thing. Uh, that one was a little bit of a mess. I decided to do a Let It Snow theme based on Frozen, my favorite movie. So it says Let It Snow. Uh, these things I already had. The lettering I had, I just traced it over on white paper, covered it out, and this is what you see. And then over here is the little garland from the Daizio Japanese dollar store that we have. The original ones are in Japan, we have them yet, and these. Now you guys can see. Oh, I just turned them on. They're little lights that I bought this year that were only three bucks from Target, so. And this is our little New Year's tree. My gift. No, my husband's gift. My gift. Or my baby trick to the actual gift. You never know. And then my husband's done it before. He'll put something out just in front of the tree or Monica, whatever it is that we've done. And then he'll actually bring out the gift. So he's tricked me many times before, but I usually catch him anyways. And then down here, since I didn't have room right here, I didn't want to block the box that turns on, you know, our TV, is two gifts for my little man. I'm going to go play with my little man now. We're going to finish having some family time, open gifts, and then later, i show you guys a sample of a traditional Russian spread that you might find on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. We had such a joyous New Year's Day. Hope you guys got a glimpse of how we, as Russians, celebrate New Year's Day. Sorry, my husband was not in the vlog. He doesn't like to be in him. It's not a thing. But my little man and I are saying bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye? Anyway, bye-bye, everybody. Wait, bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today on New Year's yeah, Day. Yeah. From our family to yours, Happy New Year's Day. Yeah, May be a healthy, yeah. happiest, joyous, filled with yeah. lots of love, yeah. success, happiness, yeah. and many more. Whatever your wishes are, may it come true as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you when we see you next time. Then you all love. Bye-bye. Yeah.